So we were talking about one fine day mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, just work-wise all together with Lena. We're going to broaden it a little bit now, though. Okay. So talking about your musical career, mm -hmm. and obviously you are not just wet behind the ears. You have your share of experiences. Mm -hmm. So would you say, judging from your starting point to now, what dreams would you say are checked off as came true and what are stuff you still kind of want to pursue? Oh, gosh, that's a really good and deep mm. question. Um, when I was a kid, uh, all my dream was simple and not simple at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, so it was simple in the fact that I just, uh, I wanted to, I had a, a desire to perform in front of people. Mm. Um, once I went on that first scary first stage, uh, I it was you couldn't bar barely tear me from the stage. Yeah. It was just it felt like a very comfortable space for me. I realized that I, I just had this inborn desire to perform in front of people. Mm -hmm. um, not a singing in the shower kind of girl. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it was very simple that I wanted to somehow get out there and be able to perform on a stage. Uh, and when I was really little, I imagined you know, bright lights and big spotlight and fancy glittery clothes. I mean, when I was really little, mm -hmm. <laughs> glittery, glittery clothes, mm -hmm. right? And diamond earrings and something right. really fancy, just a jet setting kind of a star mm. thing. Um, and then, so in terms of that, yes, check and check. Yes. Those things happen. But uh, when I am back here now at, you know, 20 years down later after debuting, I realized that uh, I would prefer to have more of that simple, just kind of being in front of people and sharing music in an uh. intimate setting. And it's actually the big lights and the spark light and the glittery dresses that I um, kind of, I'm not really... Uh, Shy away from, maybe? Mm. Yeah, it, it, it didn't really, to me, that's not the most fulfilling part of why uh. I do what I do. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely not. And so... What was some, some something very surprising about the, my career is the just the constancy of being able to perform live mm -hmm. in concerts mm -hmm. and not glittery concerts. I mean, they will run the gamut. Mm -hmm. um, but I realized that, yeah, uh, going back to square one, just simply standing in front of a stage. It doesn't have to be a stage. We can just be in the same room and yeah. then singing in front of people. The core of that is really what keeps me going more than mm. anything else, more than fame, more than being on a TV variety show. Right. Um, I, it has to always come back down to the live performance, the mm. concerts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why you never you never go a year without having your series of concerts as well, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I've always suddenly done concerts. Um, scale, you know, has been smaller in some mm -hmm, years right. and bigger in some years. But um, the constancy of it, I think, is what kept me going. So sometimes I actually think of myself not so much as a a kasu in Korean, uh -huh. or a, a K-pop mm -hmm. singer, a K-pop star, a celebrity. I just think of myself as a performer. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that does have a different feel to it. Definitely a different feel. Yeah. It keeps me grounded too. Mm. Right. So you would you rather perform live or do you like to like the recording process and like letting it out that way? So you're more into the live performances then, right? Yeah. Than yeah. the the album itself. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was all about that recording contract, right? <laughs> and then dropping that album, and then I realized now it's more become. Uh, let's make some songs and we're in the studio and we go through that and then when that's all done I feel like that was a oh, I don't know it, it, I'm just making myself more songs to perform for people that's mm -hmm. the end mm -hmm. right. more than anything else